Nice. Focus on the people here. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Max, do you... Hey. Be careful out there. Watch out for Joyce. And Frank. I got this, Max. Go on. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super Max. for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm 
glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be more Sorry, to Rachel. Let's go, now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Excuse me. Nathan... That fucker... Because... Will you please? Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I, I... I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? 
I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I I'm back in class. As he what the hell? House. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. Am I stuck in a time? 
Bueller. Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture. Wait, right? what's going on? Nobody even cares. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Too creepy. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. Oh no. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. This can't be real. I don't believe it. I see you, Max Caulfield. I cannot say this. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted. Especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. I see you, Max. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will, Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine forever.
I see you, man. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. I see you, Max Cor oh. We... Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend.
This one is for Samuel. There's a little ordinary scheme in the sea of Pamela Ralph's house. We're having my math series sitting up. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me Max. again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have... Please understand, Max. The only place I... Oh, Max! Dan, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. What? happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. I realize now you'll never be an artist. Much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. Max! Hey, Max. Professor. For life. I realize now you'll never be an artist. 
much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Max! Max! Remember what John Lennon said. Happiness is a warm gun. I hope you're happy that I'm dead. Hey, Max! Max! Warm gun. I hope you're happy that I'm dead. Max! Good evening, Remember what Blackwell. You... This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Coffee. Miss Coffee. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Hello, Max. The mic on Max Caulfield. Wait, Max. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has... Hey. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, ape? Go, ape, go, ape, babe, babe. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car! Brooke loves me. So why don't you, huh? What makes you so special? She's a bad influence. Max, I know Do you're in here. not tell Max's parents that she's... Me. Max? Hold on, Max. The bad influence. You're my spirit, Adam. How can I tell Max's parents that she's a nosy little bitch? Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit it! You'll ever get into the Vortex Club is if a tornado swallows your ass up. Do you have a You can't escape my surveillance, Missy. Admit it, Max. You're just jealous because me and Victoria actually do the work while you do nothing and whine. Admit it, Max. You're a stoner, a pothead, a weed junkie. Keep saving her. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Rachel not only gave great headshots. She gave Hey, wait, wait! Over here. I'm gonna cut you- Hey, Max! I'm gonna cut you open, freak! Max! Those were my beans, Max! Those were my fucking beans! Max! Oh no. Come back. Bottles. 
This no might be hell. Hey. Dark room. You don't think we're I know now. you're dying for it. Stop, Max! I know you're you dying. to die too, skank. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. It's gonna be so Rich. sweet when I bury your carcass next to Max, you like need her. to get high like Ray. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. If this is my nightmare, let me have one sanctuary. Of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. If you took some of my drugs, maybe you'd be a lot happier. Hey, what the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm dead? Now that Rachel's dead, it's time for you to die too, skank. Max, you need to get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Winds. What? I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max.
wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hello, lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. 